Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, as many of you requested for me to do a get ready with me, the day is finally here, guys. The day is finally here. So, um, I'm going to do a full face and, um, if you guys want to see this look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get started. Um, this is my first time doing a get ready with me, so... Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing. I recently had um, individual lashes on, so I just got them off the other day. So I feel like I'm bald now with no lashes, you know? But we're here, it's okay, we're good. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. Everybody does makeup differently, but this is the way I do it, okay? So, yeah. And I will be linking everything down below on what I use, what brand I use, what brush I use, and all that. So, just in case you guys don't hear it, you know? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do um, I'm gonna prime my eyes and I use this MAC um, Painterly Paint Pot. It's in the color Painterly. Okay. So I'm going to use a synthetic brush. It looks like this. You can use any synthetic brush you want. It doesn't really matter, but this is the one that I use. Um, to be honest with you, the number from this brush, it came off. So I don't even know what number it is, but you can use any one you want. So Yeah, so I'm going to prime my lids. And you don't have to use a lot for this, guys, because this, a little bit, goes a long way, you know? I just got my eyebrows done today, guys, and they're really thin. So, yeah, make sure you get all over your lid, okay? And then just do the same thing on the other side. So, just like that, I am going to do my brows. Before I do my brows, I am going to prime my face. Just when I get to like my foundation and all that, it'll already be like soaked in my skin, you know? So I am going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Okay, this primer, I like it because it works for my skin. I have an oily T-zone and um, I only put it like in my T-zone and I just like lather it out, you know? And it just really works for me. Because I have not tried a good primer for oily skin, try this one. This one works really, really good, okay? So, I just dab it like this. And today, um, I'm doing a podcast today. So, I'm going to be on camera. So, I really want to use, like, make sure you lather it on good. This is the way I do it. And yes, guys, I did wash my hands before I did this. So, yeah, you see how I'm just, like, feathering it out like that? I just do it right here because it's really, like, more oily, you know? So, yeah, I just do that. And then we just let that sit okay so now i am going to do my eyebrows um i use the anastasia um it's the dip brow in the color um ebony and i also use um the anastasia the brow brush looks like this before i do my brows with the um dip brow i do go in with this benefit um like a brow gel type of thing and i just do it before i put the cream on so i just kind of like just try to get all my hairs together. So I first outline the bottom. Like so. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I just start gradually like going up. In my inner brow, I like use it very lightly and I feather it up. I don't like to be too dark, like you know, like my inner brow. I don't, I don't like that. I like for it to like fade, you know. And then I just start making a line up here. And I kind of just brush it out so my hair is won't get all stuck together. Grab some more product. My eyebrows always take me the longest, guys. Always, always, always. I just want to make sure my eyebrows are, like, perfect, you know? Brows are everything in a woman's face, like, seriously. And it's okay if you, like, mess up, because we're going to go ahead and clean them up after. Brow is, like, really giving me a hard time today. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now before I make it darker and that always happens to me like when I focus on that one spot that line that's not getting like the gel um 
it just makes it darker and darker and I go back but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now so do the same thing on the other side all right so that's the way they look like right now now I'm just gonna clean them up and I sometimes go like this to see if my eyebrow is this needs more and right here it does a little bit next now I'm going to do my eyeshadow thank you baby Sorry guys, I'm a little hungry. My podcast is until 8.30 and then we're going to have dinner after. So I'm just like, I need to eat. Don't mind me. <laughs> Who else makes their cup of noodles like this? I usually use two lemons, but one is fine. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm going on with this tapatio right now. This shouldn't be any spicy food, but I'm here. Be on a diet. Be on a diet. But guys, but guys, I don't lie. I am still drinking water. Let me just get one bite. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a shrimp one. I'm sorry. Alex does not like guys. If you guys remember my best friend Alex from my last video, he's here right now with me, and he hates seafood. And I recently got um, I usually get like the chick or the lime chili um cup noodles, but I got the I got the lime chili with shrimp. And he doesn't like shrimp. Come in. Oh, wait. Hold on. Just open. Wait. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Try it again. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is this is my little cousin Danny guys. I'm <laughs> doing How you doing, bro? How are you? Good. Everybody's here today, guys. Everybody's here today. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I am back. I'm sorry I had to eat my little cup of noodles because I was hungry and yeah. So yeah, so now that my eyebrows are done, guys, I am going to go in with my makeup forever. It's like a it's like a powder. Um I'll show you the way it looks. They look like this. I will name. I will put down all of the colors down below. But um, I am going to go in with a little powder brush, this darker shade right here, and just tap off all the excess, and then just set the concealer, the primer, set that all up here. So you have a fresh lid when you start doing your eyeshadow. And again, everybody does their makeup differently. This is the way I do it. I like to do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation just so my foundation can be more fresh I know that sounds kind of dumb but this is just what helps me it lasts longer for me and yeah so as you guys know I have I do like a very basic eye but since today I'm doing a podcast um, I want to do like heavy makeup because I'm gonna be on camera I'm gonna go in with any blending brush I'm using this one and um, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette is a modern renaissance one. And I'm going to go in with the color Burnt Orange, which is right here. And the way I do my eyeshadow, um, actually my friend told me to do this and it actually works really well. I look down like this and I get in my, it's easier to get in my crease. I can see my crease more. And I just, it's like the right spot of your eye. I don't know how to explain it, but this helps you guys to try it. And then normally like on my everyday look, this is all I do. But today, like I said, we are going a little bit heavier. So I'm gonna start working my my brush inside like this, just the outer corners. Don't go inside, just like that, like so. So right now we're just warming up the eye. And again, I am using it very lightly. I'm not doing it really hard on my eye, you know? So do the same thing on the other side. That is all for the first step. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe 25A palette. It looks like this. Thank you, babe. I need to clamp my hair, guys, because it's getting in my face. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go in with like a darker brown than the brown I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. And then 
you are just going to do the outer right here and then slowly blend it up go up slowly and it's okay if you get like powder down here is you're gonna clean it up and do your foundation anyway so that's why i do it last because if any powder fall any eyeshadow pow powder falls you can just always clean it up you know i do it very lightly right here and then like down here i did like more like i put more pressure you get what i'm saying and then i just slowly do circular motion circular like so i'm gonna go in with my um blending brush that i used in the beginning and then just like alex is annoying me guys right over there and then i just try to like blend out any like harsh lines that i have like so and then i'm gonna go on like a darker brown over it so i'm gonna go in with um this m562 blending brush with this brown right here all right guys do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna go back in with my um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm gonna use that to clean up my inside of my lid. I usually I look up because it like creases for you. I don't know how to explain it. I just do it halfway, guys, like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brush right here. Um, it's like a like a it's like a powder brush, I guess. Um, I'm not sure of the name because again, it rubbed off, but I will figure it out and I will link it down below. Okay. So we're gonna go in with that white tempera, then just dab it on there on that spot. And then guys you're gonna go back in with your um with your m514 morphe brush and just slowly like mix them together i don't know how to explain like blend them together so you won't have that harsh line right there so blend them out Gently, very softly, blend out this white line right here. Are you I'm gonna go in with the, actually another. Um, I'm gonna go in with another M62 brush, a clean one, and then just do this better because the other way you're gonna your eyes are gonna become black and you're not gonna like that. So just use a clean brush and blend out like that that um, that paint pot and that shadow white shadow. So it won't look so harsh, you know. Do the same thing on the other side, ladies. Please do not have that harsh ass eyeshadow line. That shit is not cute, bro. Y'all need to really, really, really blend it out, you know. And sometimes when you do that, your white kind of like gets dark. So I just gently pat some in the middle. So my eyeshadow is done, guys. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite liquid liner, guys. I don't like my eyeliner too thick. I just feel like my eyes are really little, and if I do it thick, it'll hide my whole eyelid, you know. So I have to do my my wing while well, my eyeliner very thin. So this is how I do my wing liner, okay? So I first kind of like do it.
and then just do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, so my eyeliner on this side is a little, like, messed up, but I gotta put my eyelashes on, because once I put my eye, I do it all over. I do it, like, over it, and I, like, redo the line, so. This side, I'm gonna leave it right now, because if I keep doing it, I'm, I'm gonna go higher and higher. You know how that works? Like, you're just like, fuck, like. So now I am going to curl my lashes, put some mascara on my eyelashes, um, very lightly, just because I got eyeshadow right here. Um, just because you're gonna have your lashes on and you don't want a lot of um, mascara on there But um, I do do it before because it does Stick onto my real lash or if you get what I'm saying like it just lasts longer and it'll just get stuck together, you know, so I don't know if that makes sense, but so I just do it Very light like that then I'm gonna let that dry a little bit um, so recent my eyes are very sensitive. I know you guys know that already. So um, I have to use certain lashes. Um, there is a Bobo's beauty supply around where I live and they have these lashes right here They're by this brand called envy and I like these because they're really dramatic They're really pretty like they're good for like a night look or like if you're gonna go out You have like a nice like just heavy makeup like you're gonna be out at night These are really nice because full and they're just like really pretty they make your eyes look big like they stand out you know so and These are very very lightweight. So I love these and I also reuse these like three more times and they're only like five bucks so yeah so every time i buy new lashes i always measure my eye because you don't want to be looking real fucking scary like a little clown and one side is hanging out like don't be that don't be that bitch i'm sorry because i that's just not cute like so just make sure you guys measure your lashes and cut them i usually do like that size so i'm going to cut like two of these off okay so then you do the same thing to the other side okay so i use um the duo the green one and then the key to like eyelash glue and stuff like that you have to let it sit for a while like let it sit for like a good minute or so you know so it could be tacky and then you put it on because if you just put the glue right away and you put it on it's gonna be sliding it's gonna get messy and it's just it's annoying so just you have to wait a little bit and then you put it on and then i'm gonna apply my lashes with um any tweezers that you have so this is where i do and then i just grab it from the middle and i just like all right guys so now i just try to put it as close to my lash line as possible see i have to wait longer that's what happens and then i start like making sure that it's really stuck on sometimes i use my fingers so i could really get in there you know and then what i do i grab my real well actually i fix my real lashes to make sure they're not all like smashed down or nothing so it could be even and then i grab my real lash line and my lash and I put it together like that so it could really be stuck sometimes it's it's kind of scary this part's kind of scary because you can your eyelash is not glue, glued on properly and it could come off you know so you got to be very gentle and really patient with this part so I smashed it so now you guys understand why I put mascara because it's like puts it just seals it together and it blends your lashes in your real lashes and then i just gently push up the root of the lash just to make them be bloodier you know like more like lift it up so your eye can be open just like that sometimes i do this because my glue is not that dry yet i don't want it to slip and i like the placement of the, eye, the eyelash right now now i'm just gonna clean up under my eyes because that's where all the fallout came out so we already primed our face and i'm gonna go since today i'm gonna do a cream contour it's a little different so um but normally i just use i put foundation on and then after that my concealer and then that's it my bronzer and all that but right now i'm gonna do a cream contour just put on my foundation 
And today I am doing a heavy face, so don't judge me. And then I use my finger. Just kind of even it out a little bit. Guys, I popped the pimple and I really got in there with my anxiety and I popped it out. It wasn't even ready to get popped and it left me a freaking scar right there. It's all red. I never know how to just let it be, you know? I get really bad anxiety. I just want to pop it. So now I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just dab everything. Make sure, make sure. This is another thing that I hate when I see girls. You blend it all kind of like halfway down you don't want to be looking like a you have a cast on your face or a mask that you can see the line you know so make sure you kind of blend down as far as you can so my concealer um i usually use sponges like these i really like applying my concealer with this i just have more like what is that word like i just can get in my eyes more you know so um i'm really picky with my concealers i don't like the creases i don't like i don't like none of that so my favorite full coverage concealer is by lc cosmetics it's this brand um i will link her stuff down below these are like really creamy they're super thick and they're very full coverage and they work so so good and a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna go in with that little sponge. And I dab, guys. I do dabbies. I don't go like that. Because it just... It don't... It just messes up your whole makeup. And your under eyes are very sensitive. So you need to be very careful. I gently go on my forehead, guys. Alright guys, so now since I am doing a cream contour, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty um, Cream Contour Stick. It's in the color of Mocha. I like this applicator because it's like a little stick, so it's like easier to put on, you know. So, just do it here. I do a little bit on my side, the sides of my nose. And then guys, I'm going to do a little line right here. I go from here and then I just work my jaw like that. Oh, and then I put some down here. Okay, so then you can use any synthetic little brush like this. This one is really old, guys. I've had it for a long time. It's like all beat up. Um, but you can use like I use also the morphe brand the 404 it's like this you can use this brush as well it's like this brush like everybody has that brush that they've had for so long and they just don't want to get rid of it like it just this one works so good for me. and then you're gonna go in with the cream and then you're gonna do it in circular motions yes come in you're out Nice. All Baby. your letters. I know. Love you. Love you See you later. We'll hang out soon. We'll drink up. Okay. Talk, Abby. I said hi. I will. Okay, love so you. Alex, I said bye. Okay, okay, love you. Bye. Alright, guys, my cousin. He used to live with me. Like, I'm so sad that he doesn't live here no more. And then, it's like not that dark because I'm gonna put um bronzer over it anyway. But it just warms up your face, you know? So. And I don't do this every day, guys. I just do this, like, when I'm going to go out at night. I'm going to be out all night. Or, like, you know, I'm doing, like, I'm going to be on camera. Like, and I get ready, ready and I before I go on camera. But normally my everyday is just, like, bronzer, you know. You want to make sure all those lines. So I kind of, like, push my brush like this. And just get it there. So it could be, like, thinner, you know. I need to get a glittery backdrop. You yeah. should use your yellow one. Oh, shut up, huh? I'm so dumb. And then any, and then you just kind of like blend that out a little bit downwards. All right, 
right guys so that's done with that you're gonna go back in with your little um sponge because of course you didn't set your under eyes yet because i did my cream contour so now i'm just gonna even out all that concealer So now I'm going to go in with that powder that I showed you earlier, these right here. I'm going to go in with um, this color right here. And then I'm going to use um, the, the Morphe E49 brush, it looks like this. I use this strictly only for my T-zone and my under eyes. So this is when you set the under eye. And then sometimes your cream kind of gets hidden again, so I just go back in with my cream contour brush. And then I do my, my chin. And then I do like the inside right here a little bit. And then a little bit on my forehead. And again, you're doing dabs, you're not going like rubbing side to side because just fucks up your whole foundation you know okay and then i'm gonna go in my powder so it's, again it is by makeup forever it is in the it's the matte velvet skin and the y 315 okay so you're gonna get like a big just a like any brush like this that you have this one is by morphe it is this was like in a in a what is it called this was like in a set and then you're gonna go in so any spots that you didn't get your powder, it's just doing that. Alright, just like that guys. And then, you're going to set again your under eyes with your translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier setting powder. This one is really, really good. I love it. Then I mainly get right under my lash line and I just gently move down. Just because underneath your lash line is where you crease the most. You let it sit for like about 60 seconds. And then I use my beauty blender. And I just dab it out as much as you can. And then do the same thing on the T-zone. And then when I'm done with that, I go back in with my Morphe E64 brush. And I just gently dab it to make sure I got off all the translucent powder. Then I am going to... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back with my translucent powder and that sponge from earlier, and then get some more. And then you're gonna cut underneath where you do your bronzer, you know. And then gently bring it down. And then I'm gonna go in with my Hula by Benefit bronzer. This one is my favorite. So it has a brush like this, and then I just grab some product, tap out the excess. And then I get under here, and then I go down. I go ahead down and do it all my then I have a small forehead, so I don't go all the way up. I just do like this side. And then go to your nose, where you put your contour at. Same thing on the other side. Alright, and then um, I'm gonna put some blush on. Right now, I got this, um, I mean, Makeup by Milk. It's like a cream, um, blush, and I really like it. It's like, 
I like using cream, like creamy blushes. It's just easier to put on. It looks more shiny, just more pretty. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M404 brush, and I'm gonna just dab this like this. And then I dab like most of it off, so it won't be so harsh on your skin, you know. And then you're gonna smile, and then just dab it on there. Then um, I'm gonna go in with that big brush again and then just like dab, try to like, if you have any harsh lines, which sometimes when I do this, I go a little too high up when I'm like um, doing like cream contours and all that and it just sticks like that. So I try to like work fast on this part so it won't set for so long and it won't stay like that. And there's like a line, so I'm gonna try to just blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my Hula bronzer. You see that harsh line right there, so I'm gonna go a little bit lower. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. I'm using the Real Techniques brush. It's it's called just a setting brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna go in with um, any finishing spray that you have, and I just wet my brush a little bit. I'm gonna go in. This is my favorite um, highlighter right now. It's by Mac. It's called the Soft and Gentle. It looks like this. It's really really pretty, guys. And then I just do it up here, guys. And then I just do a little right here. I do a little bit on my nose. And then my inner eye right here, just a little bit. Okay. And then, now I'm gonna fix my eyeliner, guys. So I'm gonna go back in my liquid liner. And then I'm gonna just fix any spots. Now I'm gonna go in with my brow gel by Benefits and I'm gonna any powder that I use on my face, just put the gel, define it more, make your put your hairs together, just sets your hairs, you know. I'm gonna go in with any makeup wipe that you have and just clean up all the uh, concealer powder off your lips and then I'm gonna go in with my lips now I'm going in with this Kylie Jenner lip liner this is in the color bear and I'm just gonna Going halfway. I kind of use the same lip color as guys. Like, and then I'm gonna go in with um, this Revlon matte lipstick. It's on the color Pick Me Up. And then just I just do it like in the middle. So, and then I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Matte Glossy Lipstick in the color Seduction. And then I just go over. And 
And then last but not actually two more steps. So now I'm gonna set my face. I use the um, NYX matte finish mist. This NYX spray is bomb. It just sets my whole face and it lasts all night. And then last but not least, you go back in with any of your favorite mascara. And then you just go in. And then when um, I don't like my eyelashes too smushed together, so I go in with um, my tweezers and I just kind of like separate them. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna do my hair off camera. So um, I will show you guys the finished look when I come back. So here be. Alright guys, so this is my finished look. Um, if you guys want this hair tutorial, um, comment down below. So I am going to be recording the podcast tonight, so stay tuned to that. And I don't know what to expect, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to be as real as I can, answer all the questions, and just, you know, yeah. So um, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!